Hi and welcome to this tutorial on getting Matsim up and running. In this section we're going to ensure that you have Java installed and also Eclipse which is the Integrated Development Environment or IDE for short that most of the core Matsim developers are using. If you are unfamiliar with either Java or Eclipse or even both I strongly recommend that you look at the four video tutorials that are available on SourceForge. Here is the link and the tutorials are in my recommended sequence using the Eclipse Workbench, Eclipse and Java for Total Beginners, Eclipse and Java Introducing Persistence and the fourth one Eclipse and Java using the debugger. Let's jump right in and get started. You may already have Java installed on your machine. If you plan to follow our tutorials or do any programming at a later stage you should ensure that you have a Java Development Kit or JDK for short installed on your machine and not merely a Java runtime environment which is also referred to as a JRE. To check if your machine has Java installed will depend on your operating system. On a Mac or Linux open up a terminal and type in Java dash version and you will get an indication if a Java version is installed in this case it's Java 1.6 or just Java 6 for short and it's build 37. It does say however that this is a runtime environment. If you do not have a Java JDK installed I would recommend you navigate to Oracle's download site and just search in your browser for download Java JDK. Oracle's website is most likely one of the top finds in your search. We can scroll down and look for the JDK that we would like to download. After accepting the license agreement you can choose the operating system of your choice in our case it will be a Mac OS X 64-bit machine and proceed to download it and follow the, the installation prompts. Next we need to install Eclipse if you do not already use Eclipse. For that we will navigate to the Eclipse website www.eclipse.org proceed to download Eclipse and we recommend that you install the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. It should pick up automatically your operating system in this case you can choose between a 32 and a 42 bit but should you require Eclipse for any other operating system you can just click on the download box. Once downloaded we can navigate to our downloads folder and extract the zip file. It will extract into a folder called Eclipse and depending on your operating system you can just drag this into your applications folder in the case of Mac. For a Windows machine you can just drag this Eclipse folder to your program files and Eclipse is basically installed. At the highest level there is an Eclipse EXE file for Windows that you can drag to your quick launch bar at the bottom. Although you can install Eclipse on Linux using apt-get or the package manager these are often fairly old as they lag the Eclipse site so I recommend that you search on Google for links on how to install a specific version of Eclipse onto your Linux distribution. And now you've got Eclipse installed and you can open it it will prompt you the first time for a workspace address. And I recommend that you choose one that is easily accessible and not very deep down in some folder structure. So I'm going to even remove the documents folder and make it uh, easily accessible.
The first time that you start Eclipse, you will see the welcome page. And you can always return to this welcome page via the help menu. For now, we're just going to go directly to the workbench. For now, we're going to close Eclipse because there's one more item that we need before we can actually set everything up. And that is Matsim itself. Let's navigate to the Matsim website www.matsim.org. In this tutorial, we assume you will be a user of Matsim and not a developer. If you want to be a Matsim developer, I recommend that you visit the Matsum website and follow the instructions for developers under documentation. As a user, we will now click on Download Matsum, which will take us to the next page. We click on the link that will take us to the latest release directly on SourceForge. The zip file on which we can click and save. and we can hang around until it has completed its download. Once downloaded, we can just move the downloaded file. In my case, I'm going to drag it to my home folder and extract it. I'm now ready to open Eclipse. opening it up in the same workspace and we're ready to create our Matsum project. We can either go through File, New, Java Project or directly in the Package Explorer right click New Java Project. I'm going to call the project Matsum but I'm not going to use the default location. Rather I'm going to navigate to my home folder where I've extracted my Matsum 0.4.1 in this case. JRE is set up, the project layout is set up and I can click Next. In the Java settings window I'm going to select the libraries tab and I'm going to scroll down until I find Matsum sources.jar. I'm going to select it and remove it. Don't worry, we're not deleting the sources. We actually want to make it visible so that you can view the source code as well. Next, right below it, there's a Matsum 0.4.1.jar. We're going to expand that, select the source attachment, which is currently none, and click on Edit. We're going to use the workspace location, click Browse, and in the Matsum project, we're going to select the Matsum sources file and select OK. Confirm, and we can say Finish. Congratulations! Your Matsum is now set up in Eclipse. You can just Make sure that your package presentation is hierarchical and you can now conveniently browse the wealth of source code available in Matsum by extending Matsum, reference libraries, scrolling down to matsum.jar and you'll see you'll have access to the entire Matsum source code. Depending on your operating system, I would also suggest that you install a text editor with syntax highlighting. In the case of OS X on Mac, that would be something like Text Wrangler and Notepad++ for Windows. Also, a geographic information system, such as the open source Quantum GIS, would be a wonderful addition. On Windows, 7-zip as an archive utility would also be quite useful to extract zip files and gzipped files that we're going to use. 
That brings us to the end of setting up Matsim, specifically for non-committers, people who will not be involved in development, and I thank you for joining this tutorial. Cheers! Thank you.